Welcome. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to graph this, um, this line using our x and y intercepts. Because if I was going to graph this uh, using my slope intercept form, a lot of times you know, we just have all those inverse operations. A lot of times it gets confusing for students and maybe sometimes a little bit more difficult uh, to go ahead and convert this. Hold on, I think something's coming up. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. Thank you. So anyways, we have 6x minus 2y equals 18. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this by using our x and y intercepts rather than converting to slope intercept form. So remember, when we're doing our uh, x and y intercepts, we want to determine what the x-intercept is and what the y-intercept is. So the x-intercept is y equals 0. y-intercept is when x is going to equal 0. So then to solve for this, all we're simply going to do is plug in 0 in for y and then plug 0 in for x. And then once what they'll do is that will help us find our x and our y intercepts. Then we can easily connect it, connect our two points. So x intercept is when y equals 0. So I do 6x minus 2 times 0 equals 18. And over here, I have 6 times 0 equal, or 6 times 0 minus 2y equals 18. So now what I'll do is negative 2 times 0 just goes to 0, so I'm left with 6x equals 18. And over here, that goes to 0, so I'm left with negative 2y equals 18. Now to solve for x, I divide by 6 on both sides, so therefore x equals 3. To solve for y, I divide by negative 2 on both sides, and therefore y equals negative 9. So now I have what the x-intercept is and what the y-intercept is. And remember, the x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis, and the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. And that's all I need. As long as I have my two points and two intercepts, I can connect them to create my graph. So I'll create a y-axis and an x-axis. So my y-axis goes down to negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And my x-intercept is going to be at 3, 1, 2, 3. So therefore, I have two points. That's all I need to create a line. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an equation when in standard form by using its intercepts. Thanks.